So you are for the dot net, right? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. So you know why you are looking for only dot net? Because uh, we have similar technologies like Java, PHP in market. Why you are going for only dot net? Mm -hmm. Is there any reason? Like why why only dot net? Why not Java? Why not PHP? So why you are going for only dot uh, We're going for dot net for a few different reasons. Um, mm -hmm. The the framework is pretty versatile. We use with a variety of programming languages, mm -hmm. um, more so yes. than just let's say Java or something like that, which is very specific. Yeah. And there's there's a lot of demand for it, so that would be the the primary reason. Yes. And uh, do you have uh, uh, like uh, no IT background? Like you no, know, uh, do you know the basics of you know like the things like OOPs concepts and programming? Any programming concepts? Basic programming concepts you have? Uh, some it's hit or miss depending on the people in the group. So mm -hmm. some have more IT background than others. So mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a uh, take it as it comes, and uh, if, we need, yes. if we need more, we, we get questions and we'll do that. Yes. So here the thing is, is this .NET is especially for those who are from non-IT and those who are going to be as a .NET earning. Mean, those are going to be the developer with minimal stress. So .NET is very easy compared to Java, and uh, the like. You know, here everything is pretty fine. So don't worry. So .NET, even if you are from non-IT background, or even if you don't have the basic knowledge of the programming, also this is fine, and you can lead the .NET. That's not a problem. So the thing is, whenever you are going for a new technology, whatever it might be, it might be a .NET, it might be a Java, it might be a PHP. So you should keep in mind regarding five points. Five points. You should ask the trainer about these five points, and you should get the answer from the trainer. And if you satisfy, then only please join. Otherwise, even me or somebody else, whatever whoever the trainer it might be, please ask these five points and join. The first point, what you need to ask the trainer is, like suppose you came for the .NET, you want to learn .NET. So what is .NET? So who is the owner? Who is the owner? And when it was released? So this is the first question. This is the first question. You need to ask the trainer, like, what is .NET? Who is the owner of .NET? And when it was released? Like first question. .NET is nothing but it's a network-enabled technology. What is this network enabled technology? Why should I call this as a network enabled technology? Why should I call this as a network? Like that means if you develop any .NET application that will run on different networks, that will run on different networks. So what is a network? What is this? How it will run different networks? What is the network? Network is nothing but it is the media. It is the media which pass the information. We pass the information from one place to another place. From one place to another place. That is called network. Network is the media which pass the information from one place to another place. So, if you develop any .NET application, if you develop any .NET application that will work on different networks. Yeah. So, it will run on any network. So, what are different networks we have? We have different networks. You know, you already, I think you might have learned this uh, LAN network, local area network. There is nothing but within the company. Suppose I have a company where I have ten systems or twenty systems. If I want to share the information among those 10 systems or 20 systems, I will connect all those in a LAN connection and I will share the information. So, this type of network is called LAN network, local area network. We use this within the organization, you can say organization. Within the organization, if you have 10 systems or 20 systems, you can connect all those in a LAN and then you can work. Suppose, 
if i want to share the information globally like now now i am in india you are in us i want to share the information with you so that's why we go for wan network wide area network that is nothing but internet if and only if i have the internet connection then only i can share the information with you we have other network called wan network Man, metropolitan metropolitan area network there is nothing but this is the network which will provide only for a particular area the name is self indicating metropolitan metropolitan in the sense only for a particular city like our cable network within the city it will work only on particular area within the particular city it will work right so that's why we call this as network enable technology we have different networks so the applications that are developed by dotnet will work on any network it will work on lan it will work on wan it will work on man it will work on different networks even cloud it will work right so that is called dotnet what is dotnet dotnet is a network enable technology why i am calling this as a network enable technology because this applications will run on different networks Okay, another problem. So you can design. So who is the owner of this .NET? Who developed this .NET? Who is the owner? So Microsoft. .NET is purely Microsoft product. .NET is purely Microsoft product. When it was released, so Microsoft released that. It was released. in the year 2000 first version it was released in the year 2000 so this is the first question what you need to ask the trainer so you came for the dotnet so what is dotnet who is the owner of the dotnet when it was released so it was dotnet is a network enable technology it is developed by microsoft it was released in the year of 2000 okay first question is clear the second question so as you are going for a software programming as you are going as a programming um, developer so you should ask a trainer is it a very important question is it a platform independent or not because in it or in programming languages if it is a platform independent the it has a, it has a good scope you can see it has a good scope so it is a flat whether it is a platform independent or not is dotnet a platform independent or not what is this platform independent so what actually this platform first whether it is independent or dependent that is secondary what is this platform first platform is nothing but it is a combination of cpu plus operating system It is a combination of CPU. CPU in the sense, yes, system configuration. Don't worry. Don't think like you know CPU in the sense like uh, you know is it's a CPU. This is system configuration. Suppose if I develop any application, like let us say calculator, I am developing a calculator, simple calculator application by using .NET. So if it is running on any system configuration, there is nothing but like you know one GB RAM. 40 GB hard disk, dual core processor, right? No system configuration, and any operating system. There is nothing but Windows 7, XP, Linux, Vista, Ubuntu, Mac. You have different operating systems, right? So, if my application runs on any CPU, there is nothing but any system configuration. and any os any operating system windows 7 xp linux vista any operating system then i can say it is platform independent because it will work independent to the platform that is nothing but it will work on any platform that's why it is platform independent so if my application works on only one cpu one system configuration and one os 
then I can say it is flat. It is dependent to that CPU and it is dependent to that operating system. There is nothing but yes. My application will work on only XP operating system. It won't work on any other operating system. Then I can say yes. This application is dependent to that operating system. Now, can you tell me? Do you think is .NET a platform dependent or independent? That means. Can I install .NET applications in any system configuration and any operating system? Uh, or should I have only particular system configuration and particular operating system? I think the overall goal is some sort of platform independent nature, but in reality it seems to have some dependencies. Yeah. Then how can you say whether it is if anybody asks a straight question, is .NET a platform independent or independent? Straight question, only one answer. Independent? I would say dependent. Dependent. No. no. .NET is. It should be platform independent, but partially independent. Partially it means it is the view, <laughs> but it does depend on the OS. Yeah. No. No. Here it is. You know, my .NET applications will work on Windows 7, XP, Linux, Vista. Right. It has the problem with. Unix and you know Mac operating system. We are unable to install our applications, .NET applications, in Unix and yeah. Mac operating system. That's why it is not fully dependent. Because if it is dependent, it should work on only one operating system. But my application is working on more than one operating system. And if it is independent, it should work on all the operating systems. But my application is not working on Unix and Mac. So that's well, why it is not fully dependent. dependent. No. Yeah, it is partially independent. It's partially independent. Soon, I think in the next version, they are going to resolve these problems. Previously, we have the problem with Linux also. Now it was resolved. Now we have the problem with the Unix and Mac operating system. So soon, in the next version, they are going to resolve. So okay, this should be the second question. So is .NET a platform independent or not? So that is the second question. Okay. The first question is, what is .NET? When it was released, is the owner. Second question is, is it platform independent or not? Okay, fine. So next question will be, like, if I learn .NET, what is my role? What should I do in the as a .NET developer? What is my work? What should I develop? So that's nothing but what kind of applications we can develop. What kind of applications we can develop by using .NET? Yes, if you are the .NET developer. Or if you have the idea on .NET, so you can develop a console application. You can develop the Windows application, Windows-based application. You can develop the web-based application, and you can develop some part of mobile applications also. So if you are the .NET developer, you have to ready to develop any of these four. I, you should not say like I am the I know only console applications. I don't want to do the Windows. And or I want to do only web. I don't want to go for Windows. You should not say. As a .NET developer, you should ready to develop. And suppose, suppose, if I gave any application to you, if I ask you what kind of application it is, how can others? How can you identify a particular application is a console or not? Or how can you identify a particular application is what type of application? How can you say? So any application, any application that runs on the command prompt, any application that runs through command prompt is called console application. There is nothing but if you are getting the output in the command prompt, there is nothing but console application. Purely console application. And window-based application. How can you say a particular application is a Windows or not? So can you now? I am saying Skype is Skype a window-based application or a web-based application? Web now we are using GoToMeeting. Those are still Windows-based yes. applications, just because they use the internet, but they're being installed on a physical computer. They reside on a physical computer. They're not fully web-based, meaning they do get installed. They're not just stored in a browser. Yeah, here, yeah, most of the people they will have a confusion that so like Windows application means any application 
that is going to install in your PC. That is going to install in your PC is called Windows based application. You you should not say like whether it is working with internet or it is working with without internet. So don't bother about the internet. If it is trying, it is installing in your PC is called Windows based application, right? So Skype, go to meeting, MS Office, the Notepad, all these are called Windows based applications. The applications that are running in uh, that uh, application that are installing in your PC is called Windows based application. So here you can see Skype. If I want to work with the Skype, I should have an internet connection. If and only if I have the internet connection, then only I can open my Skype account. But if I want to open the Skype account, first I need to download the Skype and I need to install in my PC, then I need to start working. So any application that is going to install in your PC is called Windows based application and any application that is going to run by using web is called sorry any application that is going to run by using browser is called web application you can see uh, facebook do i need to install any facebook software no i should go to the browser and i will type www.facebook.com gmail do i need to install any gmail software no i will directly go to the www.gmail.com linkedin all these are called web based applications and you can see the mobile applications any application that works on mobile is called mobile application you can see android right so those type of applications are called mobile applications so if you are the dotnet developer you have to ready to develop any of these kinds of application so as a dotnet developer your role might be the console or a windows or a web or a mobile so mostly 90% of the companies they depend upon the web 90% of the companies they go with a web application only 10% of the companies or 6% 5 to 6% of the companies they go with windows only 3 to 4% of the companies they go with console or a mobile so the major market is for web so you should concentrate most on web application okay so these are the three questions like first question is you already know and second question is platform independent or not and third question is what kind of applications i can develop if i am the dotnet developer okay so we can develop the console and windows and web and mobile applications okay so what should be the fourth question yes okay I am the dotnet developer. So what, what are the softwares I require? What are the softwares I require? Because as it is a software based application, so you should require some of the softwares to work with the dotnet. Yes. If you are the dotnet developer, you should have two softwares. One is Visual Studio. The latest version is 2013. Second one is SQL Server. This is also 2012. So Visual Studio is nothing but this is used to write front end code. What is front end? Front end in the sense what user can see there is nothing but login page, registration page change password whatever the user can see directly is called front end right so there is nothing but every website is a front end right so the front end applications code we are going to write in visual studio and the back end like database if you want to store the data we use sql server like it is called database so here sql server is the database and both are from microsoft and it is recommended to use sql server 